Okay, we're cool. Oh, is it recording? Yeah, it's recording now. Right, welcome to Factorio version 1 in the original Esperanto, the way it was meant to be played. So I assume that means mods. And what mods have I got? Aircraft I don't really like. That's something I just use for scouting around. I prefer radar, so let's deselect that. Artillery equality. Boost automatic firing range of vanilla artillery types from wagons to match manual firing range. Um, I like that because I'm lazy, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, there is another mod called Artillery Smart Select, where you've got like a, a smart targeting thing. You can lasso a fit, um, around some enemy bases. Uh, but I don't think they've made it work, work in Versio de Factorio 1. Asphalt roads. Hmm, nice. But no. Auto deconstruct. Someone be saying, oh, why aren't you playing a vanilla game? Well, why don't I explain the mods I'm going through and then you can understand why I'm doing it. Auto deconstruct, really good um, for mining patches. It's just a case of, um, are you are you done mining? Yes, then sit at an automatic marker so that if you've got any construction robots or drones around, they will pick it up and I'll explain construction drones in a bit. The base mod, which can now be deselected if somebody wanted to do a total conversion of Factorio engine, say to make it an RTS, which could happen. Um, Big Brother. Um, Big Brother, this, I, I love this mod. Research radar upgrades and amplification efficiency and surveillance capabilities. Create the ultimate surveillance state. Uh, make radars bigger. Uh, what have we got? Bottleneck. Uh, this gives you red, green or blue lights. Uh, red, green or blue? No. Red, yellow or green lights. Depending on the production of a thing. And frankly, it's one of those things which I thought, why isn't this added to... Uh, to default factorio but i guess it's like a car it's like well an airbag is an optional extra so then again a bottle is an optional extra construction drones made by clonan himself the developer of factorio and that's using like the single player campaigns construction drones very cute little things i like them um because who wants to lay things by hand i'm not going to use the creative mod I use that when I get stuck in a game and I go, oh, I can't reach out there without dealing with biters. And I don't like dealing with biters unless I have artillery. Even distribution. Um, hmm. That's not really worked that well for me recently. The idea is that you can click and drag over a bunch of smelters or assemblers and it will distribute whatever you've got in your infantry equally. I'm going to leave it enabled and see how it works. Factorio standard library, that's used by some other mods. Honk. Trains honk when stopping and starting and on command. Well, that's just essential. KS Power, again uh, made by Clonan, and it's brilliant. One of the things I love about this is you've got oil burners, uh, so rather than having uh, coal or solid fuel going into a boiler, you can just have liquid fuel. <laughs> Which um, really sort of adds to the game if you're say, doing, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, coal liquefaction. Um, then you can just use the outputs of the oil refineries with an oil boiler to make steam so that the coal, the oil refineries keep going. Mini loaders is something which, uh, at first I thought, what's the point in that? But now I realise that it's one of those things where I go, why isn't this just part of the game? And it's it's great. It's literally a thing which goes, um, which just it works like the inserters, but it's it's far more convenient. Um, what else have we got? Modular turrets. Uh, no, I'm having a peaceful game, so no modular turrets. Um, not having nanobots because I've got construction drones. Natural evolution enemies. Not having them because uh, the um, peaceful. Outpost Planner. Unfortunately, this isn't working. I loved this tool. You just did a lasso select over a um, ore, ore patch and it would just automatically place all the miners down for you. Planner Core. Call for a planner series of mods. Yes, like that, but unfortunately, again, it's not working well. Do I need Power Armor Mark III? 
bigger grid, more bigger is better, right? Um, power arm and four doesn't work because never mind. Okay, we'll keep it going for the moment. Push button. A push button emits a configured signal as a pulse when pressed. Hmm, yes, very interesting. Resource spawner over here, I'm not using that. I think that's more for like angels refined ores. Robot battery research. Again, when the developer of your game starts making mods for it and does like such fundamental things as the robots have got a longer fuel tank because you can research it, you go, why is this not part of the base game? But I think it's like the philosophy of, of Factor itself where the vanilla game shows you what can be and then the mods show you the game as you want it. Squeak through is essential. Uh, allows you to just go in between the gaps in buildings. Tree cleaner. I like this mod. It's interesting. If you've got trees which are dead because of pollution, it will set a, a deconstruction marker on it. Vehicle snap is one of those things I thought, what's the point in that until I started using it? And it makes your steering have granularity, which is ideal for when you're trying to drive in a straight line. And finally, wood gasification, because what are you going to do with all that wood? You're going to burn it? No, you're not. You're going to turn it into oil. So I'm going to confirm me. I got updates, but I'm not doing that because I have potato internet. Something which I'm hoping to ameliorate very soon. But I've been doing um, uh, speed tests on it every day for a while now. And the fastest I've seen it goes 8 megabits a second, which will be a blistering speed of one megabyte a second download um single player nova ludo i think it is and we'll go libera ludado i assume luda means game and libera i assume is like like uh, latin for libertas so you're free distelio in this creative mode you can experiment in the game and build as you like you build in God mode. Ah, oh, I imagine that means uh, sandbox then. So we'll do that. And then we'll go diff. Richard Mar Maratono, I assume is Marathon. Rela Mondo. Well, Mondo is is Earth, so Rela must be rail, right? Blah, 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 um, well, I like rail world, so we got ferrous, iron, coupier le coeur, copper, stone, carbon, or coal, Urania elco, uranium ore, and naphtha, I assume, is oil. Maybe that means like nap naphtha. So, yeah, these are all good. These are just your standard sort of settings with you have of the rail world. Let's have a look at the terrain. Um, I have no idea what that means. Ab, ac, uh, tipo de map. No, we want normal. Ah, I assume that's water, like aqua, because that one's definitely like trees. And cliffage, I assume, is cliff. So let's just have a look. Is that say preview? Yeah, there's cliff. So if I go. Oh, cliff, let's take cliffs off. Yeah. And then what happens if I take take off that? Um I, if disabled only in starting Oh wow. So you'd only actually have the water in your starting area and that's my god. That's crazy. I mean, there's so much in the game that depends on water. I mean I suppose it would be possible using this to, to to launch a rocket into space, but you you could you'd be so limited in what you could do. So yeah, we we want some water, and let's just have a look at its scale. Yeah, this this isn't too. I don't like particularly big bodies of water. Uh, there are some mods that had cargo ships and the like, but really water is just one of those impassable features. So let's change Akvo down to. Well, that's just made things worse. Oh. Oh, well. That would be annoying. 
Oh, I, okay, so if I put it to like a really big thing, that, that should make it, but I can't see any water now. And uh, what if I d make it really like massive? So we've got big bits of water really far away. There we go, we've got a big bit of water really far away. So the idea, I suppose, is once I expand out, is I will try and build around this area to get access to water for steam and uh, chemical processes. So I've got some oil there, got oil there. Let's have a look at the starting area. We've got water, we've got iron, we've got copper, we've got we've got coal, we've got stone, and we've got that. I was playing. Um, I was playing. Uh, um, Angels uh, refined mods uh, with ref refined um, uh, metallurgy, and I quite liked that. Uh, you didn't have stone patches; you just had stone as a waste product from uh, crushing ore. Uh, but I didn't like petrochemistry because you end up with all these products, and like you're dealing with uh, crazy sort of things and um, making land for landfill. You can't make it from stone. You have to make it from mud, which you get from the sea. And I think there was like five steps to extracting mud from seawater. And I was just like, why can't I just have one? Um, so it was a bit too uh, involved for my liking. Mind you, the petrochemistry refine you can take off. So uh, no cliffs. I'm happy with the amount of trees. It's in the desert, which is fine by me. And I assume... Ak Vico is controls the distribution of grass versus desert. Higher bars generates more grass. So that must be moisture because Akvo is, is water. Um, controls the distribution of red desert versus sand. Higher bias generates more red desert. So we'll have a really high bias and more red desert. Um, you're more likely to encounter rocks in red desert, and I like that. So let's have a look at what else we got. What does this mean? Malam Kijaj. No idea. I, 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 could I get this in English? Um, Passa Regilamo. This just looks like Italian to me. Um, uh, yeah, let's go with that. So, I assume passo is like passis, so that means pa pacifist. Um, and then what else have we got? Recall replay information. Ah, the research queue. I don't want it post clam, um, so we'll have it siam. And I think nilam means never. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, that all looks good. Right, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the starting point. Got a few trees there. And um, yeah, let's get going. Oh, the new intro. This is Factorial Freeplay. Your task is to launch a rocket in space. You will need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket silo. Start small, work your app with automation, and don't forget to protect yourself from the natives. That's right, welcome to Donald Trump's wall building simulator. So, where do we start? Well, we're going to need iron, so uh, let's just. I'm going to hold shift instead of actually going to it. It's like. So now I've placed a ghost. Oh, look at that. The cute little construction drones go out and... Uh, I say they're cute because they make squeaky noises, which I assume is cute. I too know what the word cute means. Burp. Oh, the construction drones can't deconstruct my ship. Oh, well. There we go. Got myself a whole bunch of fuel. Great. Ah, I know I agree that's why I pray it gives me some solace hard times ahead etc friends sort of saying to me it's like have you seen all the violence happening in this country 
and uh, yes, I'm I'm aware of the violence which is happening, and I'm aware it has escalated. Uh, right. So now I've got a bit of stone, I can make myself some smelters. That's good. So, stun foreign Again, just it's Italian. My friend doesn't like rush. He says they need a good nuking, and I'm just like, uh... wait, this isn't related to Factorio. Well, we haven't researched atomic bombs yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll tell him later. I'm 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 doing a recording. I'm I'm doing content. Rah. So I I I don't really. Uh, I, I do enjoy games, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really in the business of, um, of, of what? What am I not in the business of? I'm not in the business of being a game YouTuber. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Right, so I've got myself plenty of flow, flow. So now I just need, I need, I need that. Yep, I'll have that. Oh, the furnace has got some noises. No, well, it had noises before, but they're different. So I've got ammo in that. Yeah, I have that. What you got in there? Got nothing. Got a bit of iron plate. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Bit of iron plate. Maybe I can have the construction um, uh, robots uh, deconstruct this later. Or maybe I'll just keep it as a sort of a, a thing, like, this is pretty cool, like, maybe I can even build a spaceship later on, like, you launch a rocket into space and then you start building a space station, then you, then you launch yourself into space and you've got your automated base which you're remote controlling from space, and, um, you, uh, what, what, what do you do then? You do something. Come on, the words are going to come to me eventually. Yeah, that's it. So you're in space, you're controlling your, your base from, from space, and then you just say to it, uh, yeah, um, send me up all the material I need so that I can build a spaceship. And then you can fly your spaceship back to... And maybe that's it. Maybe it's like... Like, the first part of the game is just you launch a satellite into space which has a distress beacon on it, saying, hello, guys, I'm here. And then it's like, oh... Well done, engineer. We're going to send you the blueprint so that you can build a spaceship. Uh, you'll need to be the, the receiving array to uh, receive them. And then you, re you get that, which unlocks the technologies you need. And, and then you can build a spaceship, and then when you launch it... I think a lot of that could be done with mods. But as for a, a mod which, like, you, you, you do it and then, like, congratulations, you've won the game for real now. You're... You're back to Earth or wherever your home planet is. Who knows? Maybe that's an idea. I, I like that idea, you know. Launching the satellite was just the first part because you don't want to stay on this planet. Unless you do stay on the planet, it's like either go back home or say, yeah, I'm going to like colonize in. You start building farms and houses for colonists and you build a spaceport so they can land, or maybe even a space elevator. Why not? There is so much, um, there really is so much to this game that the sky's the limit? Yeah, let's go with that. The sky's the limit. That sounds like a good, um, a good saying. So the first part of the game, I'm sure you're aware of this, is just, you're just getting up some, some basic mining and we'll have a bit of copper as well, because everyone likes a bit of copper, don't they? It looks nice and shiny. And... Oh, that's it. I'm out of my uh, car in ball. I need some more of these eventually. Um, ma, 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 ma. Oh yeah, and we'll have a bit of stone mining as well. But I can't do that because I need some... Fela Dentrado. I assume Dentrado is like teeth. So if I go into media, Fela Plato, so yeah, iron plate. And then that's iron gears. It must be iron gears. Well, of course it is. 
Um, I like compelled myself a Aligna Kisto. Learning Esperanto with Factorio. Maybe that's what I call it. Yeah, I'll, I'll call I'll call the uh, thing that. Uh, da, 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 da. I can pause this recording, can't I? Because, as usual, it's uh, got to check on some cooking. So, 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 so. I will pause the recording, but I won't pause the game because I like just things to mind for a bit. So, how do I pause? Pause, pause, pause. Where's pause? Stop recording? That's not quite what I want. I want pause. I'm looking at the um, OBS window and I thought, I'll tell you what. Um, uh, let's see. How to pause recording OBS. How to pause OBS video recording. Did you know you can now pause OBS recordings? And I don't want the video. Alright, so there's a pause button next to it. There's no pause button next to mine. What, what's wrong? What, why, why, why not? Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Pause recording should be restarted. Well, that's annoying, and I hate the look on the face of that. You don't need a face on a video to sell it. But anyway, let's stop it there. 21 minutes in, and I shall come back with a part two.